today we are finding out which restaurant in San Antonio has the best french fries. My co-host for today, Ryan Garcia. Dude, What's up, are man? you excited? I am very excited. How can you say no to, to fries? Okay, so here's the plan. Figure out what are the best fries in San Antonio. So I chose local, as in San Antonio local, but also some like Texas businesses. So the restaurants that we will be trying fries from are Chester's. Yes. Whataburger. Okay. Bill Miller's. Burger Boy. And then Wingstop. So three of those are like San Antonio based. And that is uh, Chester's, Burger Boy, and Bill Miller's. The other two are from Texas. That's uh, Whataburger which I think ori originated in Corpus. Corpus Christi. And then Wingstop, I was surprised, but it's actually from Garland, Texas. I did not know that. But so. That, I mean, that makes sense. So that's the plan. So for this best fries of San Antonio, we will just be getting the plain fries, whatever the plain fries are. All of these restaurants will be graded on a one to 10 scale. Ryan will give his score. I will give my score. We will combine them. And then at the end, the one with the most points will be our winner I mean that's our winner obviously you can go out and do this yourself if you do so let us know which one you think is the best absolutely I'm excited then let's do this so first stop burger boy okay so we're starting with a crinkle cut fry yeah this is a crinkle cut we'll do a close-up all right It's got a crisp, and then it's really soft on the And then it tastes like potato. You know, some some fries don't taste like they're potatoes. But once you get past that little crunch, it's, you know you're eating a potato. Very good. Very good. I like these. They're salted Perfect. well. Yeah. I think they, they're not too salty, but they're not lacking salt either. Mm -hmm. I think by the end of this video, we'll end up like this guy right here. So what, what is the rating that you're going to give these? I think... Remember, 1 to 10. 10 being the best? Are yeah. we using decimals or are we using whole numbers? Just whole numbers. Keep okay. it simple. Keep it simple. I, I think these are a solid 9 for sure, knocking on the door of 10. Really? Yeah. I do. I'm going to give these an 8. And I think this is what what is challenging for when you're doing stuff like this, the first one is always like the one in an awkward position. Yeah. Because you don't want to give it a too high of a score, but you also don't want to give it too low because it's the first one. So it kind of acts as the standard for the rest of them. Off to the next one. Dude, the smell is phenomenal. We're at stop number two, which is wing stop. Oh boy. They gave us some ketchup, but we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna wait, dude. You're not gonna wait? Oh! Hot. They're fresh. Here's what the fry looks like. You can see more, it's like more of a rustic style because you still see the potato skin on there. Let's go in for a bite. So these are actual hand-cut potatoes. They do them in there in store, and and they make them fresh. Nothing, nothing here is made to order, which is pretty crazy considering how commercial Wingstop is. That just tells you that they've they've got a, a method and they figured it out. These are also seasoned in probably the most unique way. I don't think I've ever had another fry that seasoned. It like has it. like a sweetness to it, doesn't it? it? It's got some cinnamon in it somewhere. Cinnamon sugar is kind of what it tastes like what? on a fry. Oh my goodness, it's so but great. But they're still salty. Yeah, it's it's a mixture of the two. For the Wingstop fry, I'm actually going to give it a 7. What? Ah, oh, that disappoints me. Because the I think the sweetness throws me off a little bit. And it's not what you typically expect in a fry, but it's still pretty good. It's not, you know, no, I'm going to change it. It's going to be an 8. It's an eight for me. Anytime you do a contest like this or a, a something like this, you have like a a preconceived notion of how it might go. Mm -hmm. uh, this was my front runner, and um, I, I think I think it gets the ten for me. Really? I really do. I, I absolutely love Wingstop fries. On to the next location. Oh man, that didn't work. 
That definitely didn't work. Hi, can I can I get an order of large fries, please? Okay. That's it. Restaurant number three. Good old Whataburger. What a burger. Here's a fry. It's a thinner fry than a wing stop and a burger boy. It's, it's definitely more crispy. Definitely more crispy. It's um I don't know, I always feel like it's a little bit heavier on the oil. Yeah. Like you know when you eat this one? It's a like a fast food restaurant. Yeah, it's a it's a mat they're just cranking them out. They're like hot Cheetos, you know? Yeah. You can't just like eat one, you're like mm. It's a good fry. But I'm not gonna go to Whataburger for their fries. I'm gonna go to yeah. Whataburger for their burgers. Those are next level fast food burgers. Yeah, I think for me the score on Whataburger is gonna be a seven. I I I agree. I think mine's about a seven. There you go. Whataburger. So, which one do we have next? Next we have Bill Miller's. Bill Miller's. We gotta catch them before they close. I'm down like ten fries already. Didn't even record. <laughs> Uh, so these are Bill Miller's. This is Bill Miller's right here They're potato wedges. They're not as crispy as um, what was it any of the other places we went to really. yeah, but they're thicker They're more pota potato y <laughs> They're not as crunchy like you don't bite into it and get that nice clean crisp, but They're they're, they're meant to go with barbecue. I mean mm. it's it's these also make really good hash browns the next day, just so you know. Really? Yeah, I've done it before. I can see that. I think for these, I'm gonna give a nine. I think they get a nine too. They're on. They're 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 yeah. The yeah, other nine. They're different than Burger Boy, but they're I think on their on the same level. I don't know that they the seasoning on Wingstop just takes it that little bit more than it. Now needs. off to the last one which is Chester's Hamburgers, another local restaurant. We'll see you there. Nice, the lighting is better. Much better. So Chester's seems like, I've never been to one. It has like a Rudy's uh, steak, uh, Rudy's Steakhouse, like Rudy's um, feel, like very country. Best burgers on both sides of Beckles. These were also like pretty highly rated. As I was doing research for this, I found that Chester's fries were like pretty high up. Here you go, Chester's fries. They have a cut very similar to Wingstop. They do. The texture is, is pretty similar to Wingstop and I can really differentiate the sweetness now of Wingstop. Yeah. These are solid fries though. The score for Chester hamburger fries is gonna be an eight. Dang, you took mine. Mine is eight. Oh, there you have it. Best fries of San Antonio. So I'm tallying up the numbers here, and we have a tie. Oh, what? Wingstop, a score of 10 from Ryan and eight from me. And then Bill Miller's, eight and eight. No, nine and nine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. I failed law school and I failed just that one math calculation. So nine and nine equals 18. So how do we, what do we do? We need to go back to Bill Miller's and get more. We still have Wingstop fries, right? Michelle can be the tiebreaker. But we don't, it's close, Bill Miller's is close. We can find one. <laughs> oh no, no, there, there's one close. Oh my god, so we're gonna go to a Bill Miller's that's close by, get some fries, and then um, Michelle will be the tiebreaker. Stay tuned. So, Bill Miller's is closed. So I guess it's up to you to decide which one has a better fry. Bill Miller's or Wingstop? Choose your restaurant. Choose your fry. Put it down in the comments below. And we'll see you for round two, maybe also comment which restaurants you would like for us to try their fries. Right? Yeah. We're, uh, I, th I think, uh, 
there's more. To, there's much more to explore. There's much more to explore. That's like a Transformers line, right? Optimus. There's more than meets the eye. Optimus. Optimus. It's so popular that someone's coming here for their birthday. Olivia, happy birthday. 